good morning good afternoon and good evening so today i got galaxy a71 4g and i have already flashed the latest version of the cr droid version 10.9 and white version is 14 i have all the applications downloaded straight from the google play store the play store is not certified and uh, the basic integrity is passed but we have but still we have to root the device to make the device certified to and to make the safety net pass and the applications are working perfectly with the rom the rom is not having any issues with any features with only any options no lag can be found using the rom on galaxy a71 fingerprint scanner is working with this rom the always on display is also working but we have to tap to see the screen like if i double tap the always on display will turn on for unlocking we have to press the power key the fingerprint scanner is working and the face unlocking is also perfectly working right those who like to have aosp rom on galaxy a71 want to have a change or want to have a good battery life or want to have a good speed because the aosp rom always be faster than this one ui so go for this rom how to flash this rom watch the further video do like the video if you are getting help from my videos do not forget to subscribe my channel click or tap the bell icon click or tap the select all thank you so much now we need to unlock the bootloader of the mobile phone because i'm already having a custom rom c mobile bootloader is already unlocked and as far i am using custom rom the bootloader will be remain unlocked i can flash the stock from here then i can relock the bootloader if you want to know how to flash the stock rom back on the mobile phone i will provide tutorial video link in my video description description you can watch the video how to revert back to the stock firmware right in case if you are having data on your mobile phone you need to save all the data because the custom rom flashing will uh, will always format everything you need to check the mobile phone battery must be charged around like 30 40 or 50 percent now go to settings and then go to accounts and sync your google account then must remove it to avoid any issues later now we have to go to security and privacy then we have to turn off the screen lock by selecting the swipe now the important thing is that if you are having any custom rom but your mobile phone once updated to the one ui 5.1 and white 13 stock firmware then you can simply flash the cr droid latest version on your mobile phone in case if your galaxy a71 still is having a uh, oldest firmware like one ui 4 series or android 12 then you need to update your mobile phone right now i will power off the mobile uh, mobile phone these are the files that we have to download this is the cr droid rom file you can see that the version of the rom is 10.9 mind the gaps let me inform you that this particular mind the gaps will work on the cr droid do not go for any other google applications will not get flash or even if that get flash the google application will have a uh, issues after booting to the rom Odin requires blade farm tools requires and recovery particularly particular recovery this one will be working with the rom even it is 10.7 but this recovery can take the rom flash on the mobile phone right and links are provided now let me show how to download the the rom file and the google application file so link is provided this is the official cr droid website for the galaxy a71 4g if you can see that version is 10.9 this is the maintainer uh, name and come down here if you want to read the change log you can click on here otherwise go for the download latest version right click on it and then click on open link in new tab so the rom will start downloading right and then open uh, click on the gaps right click on it then open link in new tab so it will take you to the google applications uh, uh, page let me show this is the google apps and basically this is is for the lean age os but it's it will work also on cr droid only the particular version 10.9 we have to go for the android 14 
and you we have to click on ARM64 we need to download this one right then you can click on the recovery so the recovery file will also start downloading so platform tools links also provided we need to download this one also and first of all extract the platform tools then extract the Odin file and then copy the ROM file mind the gaps file I mean to say Google applications file from the downloaded folder and paste it into the extracted folder of the platform tools to make the things easy we need to rename uh, two files over here we just copied like the rom file click on it press f2 erase the file name just give a name rom it supports uh, it's supposed to be like rom.zib then press enter key and same way come to the gaps file name click on it press f2 erase then just give g a double p s it is supposed to be dot zip gaps dot zip press enter key now we'll go back then we'll open the extracted folder of the Odin double click the Odin file to open it click ok on this pop-up window then Odin will open then click any slot I will go for AP I will go to my downloaded folder and I will double click the tar file the recovery file or uh, the CR droid recovery 10.7 dot TAR double click to select the file coming back towards the mobile phone mobile phone is supposed to be power off check the other side of the cable must be connected with computer now press and hold the volume up key and volume down key keep it press and then connect the cable in few seconds you will see a warning screen then release both keys okay I got the warning screen on this screen press the volume up key once to boot into Odin mode. Now again press the volume up key to light up the screen. Now the Odin mode screen is supposed to be like this. FRP lock must be off or EM lock must be off and in the brackets you will see U which means that the bootloader is already unlocked. Now coming back towards the computer screen. On the Odin click options then click untick auto reboot untick auto reboot then go back to log and then click start to start flushing the recovery file on the mobile phone it will be done and you can see pass message over here click reset and click exit and go back to download it folder now mobile phone is still booted into Odin mode now we need to boot the mobile phone into CR droid recovery press and hold the volume up key volume down key and power key when mobile phone restart first release the volume down key and wait just wait now release the power key when you see this screen count one two three four five okay five is enough then release the volume up key and immediately press it again one two three four five now release the volume up key so the mobile phone will boot into CR droid recovery we got the recovery then first click factory reset tap factory reset tap uh, format data factory reset then tap format data start it done then tap format cache partition done then format system partition yes done and then go back to main screen then tap apply update apply from adb come to the computer screen open the platform tools extracted folder right click on the cmd then left click on run as administrators and click yes on next window see the command window will open now type the command to flash the rom file adb space side load space rom dot zib press enter key so the file will start it start transferring to the mobile phone and it will also start flushing at the same time now we have to wait here flashing done you will see install completed with status 0 now tap advance when flashing done tap advance then tap reboot to recovery now we have to flash the google applications file so must reboot the mobile phone into recovery once again so we got the recovery back now tap once again apply update and apply for an adb on the computer screen type the command adb space side load space g a w p s dot z i p press enter key the thing will start once again like the file will start transferring to the mobile phone
you will see once again install completed with status 0 which means that things turn perfectly now tap reboot system now and we are done from the computer you can close the command window if you want you can delete the Odin extracted folder and platform extracted folder and disconnect the cable from the mobile phone so the mobile phone will soon start booting to the CR Dwight version 10.9 ROM so we have to wait now here so finally first boot completed now complete the setup screen in case if you want to keep the CR Dwight ROM on your mobile phone, you want to take an OTA update if it is arrived on your mobile phone, then you need to put a tick sign update CR Dwight recovery alongside with the OS, right? Put a tick sign over here, then continue. ROM got flash very perfectly. Things all done smoothly. These are the default applications coming with the ROM. So this is the same ROM that uh, Samsung Galaxy A71 in white version 14, CR Dwight version 10.9, first October 2024. We got the basement over here. This is the kernel version and the build date and the build number, right? Things done very smoothly and I got the CR Dwight ROM on the Galaxy A71. Do not forget to like the video. We'll see you in my next video. Until then, goodbye.